Hello everyone, I'm Oliver Hill. Before we dive into today's topic, I want to take a moment to greet you all and wish you good luck and success. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your opinions matter. Today, we're going to discuss the complex and strained relationship between Prince Harry, Prince William, and their father, King Charles. This topic has been in the spotlight since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to step back from their royal duties and move to the United States. The once close bond between the family members has seemingly eroded over time, and this has raised many questions about the future of the British monarchy. In April 2021, Prince Harry returned to the UK for the funeral of his grandfather, Prince Philip. This reunion was a significant moment, coming just weeks after Harry and Meghan's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey. It turned out to be a major flashpoint in the ongoing rift within the family, prompting King Charles to issue a heartfelt plea to his two sons. The exact contents of Charles' plea have not been disclosed, but it's clear that the situation has taken a toll on the family. Harry's response to his father's plea was, it stopped me cold as it was meant to. Not because he used it, but because it didn't work. I simply didn't believe him. It's essential to note that while some believe that Charles should take the lead in reconciling with Harry, there doesn't seem to be an immediate rush to do so. A friend of the family explained that Charles' primary focus is fulfilling his duty as king and maintaining the constitutional stability of the monarchy. This means that, for now, resolving the personal issues between father and son might not be the top priority. However, others argue that the current situation between Charles and Harry is not sustainable in the long term. From a strategic perspective, it's important for the king, who represents national unity, to have a better relationship with his son. They point out that it's unusual for a king and his son to be on such bad terms that they haven't been pictured together in years. Ultimately, there is a belief that Charles has both a personal and strategic need to address and resolve this issue eventually. The divide within the royal family has been further exacerbated by the claims made by Prince Harry in his bombshell book. These claims, including allegations that Charles didn't offer emotional support after the death of Princess Diana and that Camilla sacrificed Harry for good PR, left King Charles and Queen Camilla reportedly furious and wearied. As we explore this topic, it's important to keep in mind the complexities and nuances of family relationships, especially one as public and scrutinized as the British royal family. The future of these relationships and its impact on the monarchy remains uncertain, and the views on how to address these issues vary widely. Now I'd like to turn it over to you, our viewers. What are your thoughts on this ongoing royal family saga? Do you think it's essential for Charles and Harry to reconcile, or do you believe that constitutional considerations should come first? Please share your opinions in the comments.